Hi Aquarius, it's Lynn from Tinker Tarot. Tarot. I'm here to do your March 2019 reading. I'm using the Druid Craft Tarot and I'm also complementing the reading um, with the regular playing cards. So, also, I forgot something. Hold on a second, Rooney. Sorry, I could see that Carmella was uh, trying to lay down on my pile. And um, it's my maps. My girlfriend, Paula, that owns Nothing But a Tease, is the owner-operator. Um, and she creates, like, not just t-shirts, but so many things. I can't believe I'm just so lucky to have creative friends. So she made me some maps maps <laughs> that are made of cloth and it's great because I'm going to put them on a foam board and then I'm going to be able to pinpoint where people are from because some people write to me and say hey you know from uh, Nashville Tennessee or wherever and then I said to her well I have a lot of people in um, America, in the U.S., and I have a, a, also a lot of people in Europe. And that big world map's fine for when I'm, you know, putting the odd sod, sod person in Asia or Western Europe or whatever. So she made me another one of the U.S. so I can get real specific on where you're from. And yet another one <laughs> of the uh, of Europe. I thought they'd also be really cool as tablecloths sometime because they are gifted. So um, they have that ener extra energy. And so I'll put um, her Facebook. You can look her up on Facebook. Nothing but a tease. That's T E E S. Um, on Facebook and she creates everything she, mainly she does t-shirts and stuff like that but anyway Aquarius this is about you so let me get to shuffling the cards which reminds me happy St. Patrick's Day to any of those who are Irish and celebrate it or maybe you're not Irish and you celebrate it but um, I got a teaching earlier uh, from someone, um, an Irish uh, viewer, and uh, she was telling me about, you know, the history of this day, why they celebrate this day and everything, which I didn't know. And uh, so it was really cool learning that. And I don't mind people writing me and telling me extra about stuff politely, politely. <laughs> But, um, yeah, it was really cool. And she sent me a link to this video where I could watch the origins of it and everything. It was really cool. So, anyway. Uh, also, I want to mention the March 21st is the spring equinox. And so the spring equinox is about the rebirth, right, of the season. Um, coming back to life again after uh, the hibernation of the winter. And so it's when we come out of hibernation and we're ready to really, we, we're re-energized, a lot like the star energy, re-energized um, and, and ready to um, put effort into many things, many things. So what are the messages for Aquarius? March 2019 Aquarius. All right, so Aquarius, what are the messages for Aquarius? Our air signs, okay, they're ready, they're ready. They're kind of sluggish today, the cards, you know, they're kind of a bit lazy. That's all right. That's okay. We'll wake them up. Okay. So. Hmm. 
Um, All right, so I'm back, back to doing the past, past, present, future reading again. Um, I did try a different layout in, uh, with the first few readings, and it was just way too long, way too long. Like, I can't pay attention for that long. It was running over an hour. So I'm back to doing um, this one. And the new thing, I'm trying to learn the Lenormand deck. I really like it, especially as a, um, I always call it a compliment to, to, um, to give clarification. I, I like those because I like using different cards completely that read differently for clarification because um, it's just helpful. A lot of the cards in the tarot, mean the same thing you know they are similar so you want that different perspective to match with that you know your main card so anyway your first card in your past which is now or before now is the five of swords the five of swords is a victory but um it feels like an empty victory um, someone's walking away in defeat, in shame, um, and, and had to lay their swords down. Um, they had to admit defeat, okay? Uh, this, this person um, has proven themselves to be right or the victor, but it doesn't feel good because you lose something at the same time. Like this guy, he's right, but now he's lost this friendship or this partnership or this uh, family member or who, uh, whoever it is, you know. Um, and it's gloomy, you know, it's, gl it's a gloomy victory, all right? It's kind of like an empty law or uh, an empty gain, you know what I mean? It just doesn't feel good winning. And uh, so, and I'm not sure if that's you or if which person you are in that dynamic. You'll have to uh, decide on that of who you are in that dynamic. But um, there's going to be an empty victory or has been already because it's in your past energy. And then you have the Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups is overflowing emotion. A new emotional, you know, like this is usually a new relationship, but I like to think of it as the energy. You're like, you're ready to love again. Your cup is overflowing with love and happiness. And you want to share that, right? It's overflowing. And then now it's feeding the, the waterfall and the river. And um, it's feeding the land, you know. So it's... You're ready to give love and therefore ready to receive it again. So this is that part. I see the two is more the couple coming together, but this is means you're ready to love. And then there is the King of Cups. So the King of Cups um, is could be a water sign. And very much could be a water sign because this is Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. And it was beside the Ace as well. Um, this could be your energy, though, also, Aquarius. All right? Male or female. Because this guy is ready to love. He's grown up. He's matured a lot, or girl. And is ready to give love, but it isn't really, you know, running after it, you know? He'll accept love if you come and offer it, you know. He he's he's um he's also, you know, pretty settled in his ways. Um he can be very loving and very deep. Uh he seems um pretty together on the surface, but underneath, you know, there's a lot of emotion feeling a lot. <coughs> But, you know, he has the dog behind him, um, a very loyal, very um, romantic, I think, romantic. 
once you get his attention, that's the thing, is getting his attention, he's quite comfortable where he is. Uh, could be overindulging in something, you know, um, uh, or, you know, needs to be involved in something or he'll overindulge, I think, if he's on his own. Anyway, you know, I get the idea he's really ready to. He's a bit in his head about um, putting himself out there, a bit, a bit too much in his head, you know, uh, wants to be in control of what's going on. Anyway, let's see where this goes. Also, this could be the person that um, the, the dispute, have something to do with this dispute that went on here, right? You know... Um, in the past, there could have been this dispute and maybe there's a potential to, 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 um, make up really potential to make up maybe with a water sign, maybe who, someone, you know, who's willing or willing to wait, um, make up, but they're not budging. You know, this person isn't budging. And they kind of got their back to the cup. Like, they got their back to the potential of love. And I think that's on the outside. You know, they're like, I'm okay. I don't need love. I'm happy. I'm happy the way I am. But they, I think, very much want love. Want to give love. You know, like I said, this is an outpouring of emotion. Could have something to do with this dispute. You know, you could have an outpouring of emotion over this, you know. Anyway, let's move on. In your present is the Ten of Wands. So this is laying down your burdens, you know. Whatever uh, burdens you've been carrying and all those wands, those sticks he's carrying on his back, each one represents a different burden. It's many people or many things that you have to do to accomplish and maybe you're carrying things for other people as well. Um, but he's just about at his destination, you know, and he, he's at the spot where he can lay these down now. And um, maybe put something, um, when he puts out his energy, it's going to be for himself now, not for all these things. He wants less burdens. Wants less burdens. I think this has something to do with your five of swords, too. You know, one person's leaving, right? Not feeling good about it. This person is winning like they 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 they're clear in their mind and they've communicated how they feel but it doesn't feel like a good victory neither person feels great and so you know and here the person is at the 10 this is the end of the this journey this task that you had to complete and it could could have something to do with that because it's in your, it's following that, you know. You go from that to that. That's in your past, this is in your future. So, the center of your reading, and this is kind of cool, is the Fool. So, you go from the Ten to the Fool, you know. And you're ending your burdens. You're ending your, um, it's not going to be so difficult. And now... You're willing to take a risk, a leap of faith to something new. It does say mind your step because, you know, pay attention to where you're going. The dog's trying to warn you. Hey, you're, uh, the next step is we're Gandhi here. <laughs> Be careful what you're getting into because your cares are behind you. You've laid down your burdens. Your cares are behind you and you're like, whistling away uh, as you go so it's saying wonderful you have this wonderful energy and you're so looking forward to to your um you know the 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 door that's opened up for you 
but pay attention to where you're going. Pay attention to the details a little bit more. Um, hmm. Um, so the last card in your present, which I forgot to mention, is now in the first couple of weeks of March. Sorry, I'm late, by the way. Is the Seven of Pentacles. And this is um, uh, enjoying the fruits of your labor, you know. This is where you get to enjoy, like, it's like the fall harvest. You know, you've been working in the spring. You planted the seeds all summer. You watered them and cared for them and pruned them and everything. Kept the bugs off. And now it's the fall and the winter, and you get to live off the, these. These fruits are going to help you survive through winter, and they have. So uh, this is join, enjoying the fruits of your labor now. Um... The first card, I keep looking this over, you know, thinking about it, that King of Cups. That King of Cups is bugging me a little bit here. Um, because I think it's more about, um, I, 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 I don't think it's another person, to tell you the truth. I thought it was at first, but I'm thinking this is all about you and your journey. What you're doing, how you're feeling, where where you've come from and where you're going and like I said I think that in in another in another sense you know you're done with conflict you're you know you're um ready to face um things truthfully now you know from that perspective proud integrity you know your word your word is sometimes all you have so it's important that it be true, you know, and then, he, like I said, ready to open your heart. It's that energy. I'm ready to love and and be loved. So I'm ready to, you know, consider suitors kind of thing. And then here you are, you are ready, and you're and you're mature now. You've grown a lot from your experiences in love, but you're not necessarily going to throw it out there. If people want to come to me and because this, like I said, this guy or girl is not budging. You, they are willing to accept offers. You can come and, and tell me what you're offering. Um, he, he's not going out there. I don't think this person is online shopping for a partner, you know, um, the, um, I think it's a little more organic approach, an organic approach, okay? So, back to what I was, you know, back to your future. <laughs> and this is the Princess of Wands. The princesses are sometimes represented as pages delivering a message. This is delivering a message of an opportunity. I think it's how to expand an opportunity because um, this is quite a big wand. You know, she has the energy. She has youthful energy to apply to this, um, this offer. This is an offer, too, by the way. Um, and it's kind of cool. Uh, the, uh, first, I want to say about her energy. She's standing there, you know, in the wind, already on her path, okay? She's already on her path, and she's ready um, to, like I said, to take up this wand and move forward with it. She's taking a step forward even. She's in motion, ready to take action. Um, if this is not a message coming in to you about... Um, expansion in some way in your goals and achievements, work, um, creative ventures, then if it's not a message, then it's you ready to move forward. You have, you seem to have a lot of energy now, extra energy to put towards this. Um, but she's on the path already. She's in motion, ready to take action. Okay. Wands are action. 
And it's kind of funny because she comes under this Ten of Wands. You know, he's like, oh, I am so done with this journey. It's not funny. And then it's like, okay, I'm ready for this journey, though. <laughs> new energy. New, you know. So your next card in your future is the Three of Pentacles. You got another... I thought I had another three. For some reason, I thought there was another three. Why am I thinking that? I also want to tell you, too, just before I did your reading, I could smell um, seafood, like tuna. I could smell tuna or something like maybe salmon. Salmon. I could smell it. Uh, just before I um, thought I was, you know, when I was thinking I better start on the Aquarius reading. So, I don't know if that means anything for anybody. Three of Pentacles. This is about making your mark. Okay? Like I said, ready to move forward. Ready to act on, you know, um, expanding your achievements, your goals, where you're going. And this is leaving your mark. You know, and everybody's watching. They're like, oh, what's he doing? Geez, like, um, he sure is working hard. I'm wondering how that's going to turn out. I can't wait to see how this is going to turn out. And this guy is literally making a landmark here. You know, something that you would refer to when you're saying, oh, geez, okay, when you see that, when you see the red barn turn right, you know, that kind of thing. Except this is something that what I think will be around past your lifetime, uh, perhaps. Also, this guy's working really hard. You know, um, this is hard work. The cat is trying to get his attention. Geez, can you just take a break and pay attention to me for just a sec? And he's like, no, get away, cat. I'm working. I'm determined to finish this. You know, determined to work until it's done. So this is very hard work. And, you know, it's kind of neat. It's coming under your fool, right? Um, which I, I like seeing this combination because the fool is not really paying attention. He's kind of skipping on his way, just happy. I just don't care. I'm just happy to be on my way. And then here, it's way more focused. Very precise, you know, very detailed. you got to focus on this or you could ruin the whole thing. So... You know, you go from not focused to very focused. You really hone in your, your, um, your work. Well, your talent for one thing, um, but your hone in what you're doing, what you're investing in. Okay, you're very focused on that. And then you have the nine of pentacles. And it's kind of funny. <laughs> I'm going to say it's kind of funny all the time. But, you know, first of all, it shows her in the spring. I wanted to mention that, um, which is coming. It also shows her um, very proud. She's proud of what she's been able to achieve. You can see all the pentacles engraved on the stone wall here. And so she's, she's um, I think she's also able to enjoy now um, herself take a break because of all this hard work that she's done um, it might be a hiatus as a matter of fact you might take a rest a well-deserved break um, because and the reason I say hiatus is she's wearing this white robe it's a it's a um, sign of purity to me and she might be taking a break now from the dating scene because it's also a card of independence. It could You could be single, choosing to be single and rest for a little while. Also, you may be only available um, um, with communication through like email or texting. You don't really want to um, do a lot of visiting or have a lot of visitors. You just want to enjoy your sanctuary, your rest, your peace. This is very peaceful card and also taking a well-deserved break because you've been working very hard this is the nine you've made it all the way to the nine okay um now she's not resting necessarily she is communicating but she's in a sanctuary okay so you know <laughs> 
it's kind of funny because um, here's the the King of Cups, and even though he's ready to love and 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 receive love, he's especially ready to receive love, you know, and um, and then you have um, uh, being able to in not enjoy but um, survive from the fruits of your own labor and then the sanctuary this person is hooded too right um, perhaps hid, uh, have hidden away for a bit like I said hibernate you know hibernate in the winter right and then here's the spring you know you're coming out it's starting to be beautiful out you have your bird you're enjoying your your sanctuary, your uh, fruits of your labor still, you know, fruits of your labor still. This, this, um, what you've been able to save, you know, I think you've been saving money for a while maybe. And what you've been able to save or invest is, is allowing this um, time that you need, you know, on your own, I think. Um, so I'm going to clarify with the regular playing cards and I think I'm going to take one ooh, one from the Lenormand here's a friend we got a friend coming right out of the box probably a visitor too you know um, maybe a message from a friend message to a friend let's see here what are the messages for Aquarius March 2019. What are the messages for Aquarius? Not yet. Ooh, that beautiful sun's coming in looking. You can see it. Hello. I don't know how to do those shadow things. I look kind of like a witch and that, like silhouette. Couldn't I do it something more complimentary? Uh, huh. Well, look like, um, uh, I think, uh, there's a friend that's ill or you get, you could get news from a friend that someone's ill and you're worried. There's a news of illness, news of illness that worries you. I think it's a friend that's that's ill, that's sick, that has some sort of a health problem. Um, could be a blue-eyed man in your life. Like, you know, <laughs> that King of Cups, right? Not saying that that's definitely it. Like, it could be you, Aquarius, the blue-eyed man. But this is... Um, a blue-eyed man around you is worried about a, an illness. Uh, or anyway, someone around you is sick, has a health issue that is causing worry. Okay, could be causing worry for this guy. You know, it's someone close to him that's ill. Let's get a couple more cards to clarify for Aquarius. Okay. Ten of Clubs. King of Diamonds. Three of Diamonds. Five of Clubs. Two of Diamonds. And the Queen of Clubs. So first of all, I think you're moving. This is your second ten. Yep, your second ten. Um, and in the same suit almost so I think you're moving first of all and I think you're moving very soon um, I also think there is an older gentleman usually this reminds me of an older gentleman he has green or blue eyes he I don't see blonde hair but I see kind of like white or grain hair you know some grain hair um, this could be someone who's financially um, stable. Um, 
let's see what we got here. Hmm. Well, it's movement forward, right? This is movement forward financially. Um, could be... I, you could be getting a raise. I'm wondering if you're getting a raise, you know. You could be moving also in your job, like doing something different, uh, maybe with the same people. But I think you're elevating in your position where you are now, okay. It's not, if you're moving, you're moving in the company. And I, I think you're also moving residences, um, here you have the five of clubs and the five of clubs is a gain card because you've now decided what you want to put your energy into, right? What you want to invest yourself in, into your, um, your time, your energy, your skills, your knowledge. You've, you've made a decision and now this is a partnership. Okay. This is a meeting about a partnership with this woman. She's brown or hazel eyed woman brown hair probably um um could even be darker hair uh but the eyes are the most important thing um so this is a port uh, uh um a partnership you know a business partnership this is some sort of business partnership okay with this brown eyed woman um Hmm. You could have extra work. You could have extra work and need to partner now to handle it all. Or maybe you're going to be working with someone in this new part of the company where you're working. You know, you're, you're going to be working on a team with someone, partnering up with someone. Um, any one of these people that I could, that I've talked about, um, this one could be new, but all the rest of them are already in your life. These two guys, the, the blue eyed man and the older man, um, they're in your life already. This I, it could be a new partnership. It could be a new person coming. Like I said, they could already work in the department where you're being moved to in your company or you team up with them and work together. You're working together anyway, I can tell you that, okay? Working together, partnering with this person. So, that's all I got for you, Aquarius. Uh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I forgot, I wanted to do that. Hold it. <laughs> Hold it. I just got to grab them from down here. Ah! There they are. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Now, I'm just getting to know these cards, so I don't want to hear a bunch of comments about this. And this is how I learn. It's how anyone learns. Practic practice makes perfect. I just I just got to practice talking. <laughs> I'm going to drop everything. Okay, so I'm going to shuffle these Lenormand and give you one card out of these. And this is how I'm going to practice getting to know these cards. So what have we got for Aquarius for the month of March 2019? Ooh, I didn't smudge these ones either. They're kind of cold. They're like literally cold. Maybe I better do this. Hmm, Aquarius, March 2019. Come on, what do you got for me? What do you got for me? La Normand. La Normand. That's coming. They're getting ready. I can feel it. Just had to warm them up a little bit. Sorry it takes so long, but, you know, I'm not just going to take anything. They've got to be ready. I think they are. I think you got two, three, ooh, three cards. You got the dog. When the dog is nearby, this means your friend is true but if he's far away your friendship may be through huh. Huh. okay uh, so I'll just show you what that card you got the dog 
Then you got the coffin. Jeez. Look out for the coffin. It brings sickness or death. And not, and you're not careful, no. And you're not careful, courage, wealth, and health will all breath their last breath. Oh, Jesus, sounds like doom. And then you got the six, which is the clouds. Shining clouds shower you with happy rain. But beware of darker clouds along with stormy weather. Trouble may soon be there again. Um... You know, again, this King of Cups, he's got the dog. He's got the dog. Uh, you know, I'm wondering if there's, and then there's this King of Hearts. You know, this is a blue-eyed man, but he can represent, um, I think this is a friend. A friend of yours who has a health issue. Aquarius, I'm sorry. Um, but I, um, it's come out, you know, here the uh, it, you know you didn't get the ace of spades or the death card i think there's a signal a uh, sick, sickness that someone is going to struggle with um they I, I i i think they could recover from this because you know it showers you with happy rain but if you're not careful could come back again so um i think this is really taking care of your addressing what the issue is for that person um for your friend not yourself your friend and like i said i think it's either either a water sign um or someone you know uh, very emotional not very emotional deep okay deep is what i want to say and um but I think they could recover if they really uh, uh, pay attention, pay, pay close attention to it. Okay. So Aquarius, have a great month. Enjoy your spring equinox because it's going to be lovely for you. And um, I'll talk to you soon. Oh, geez. I almost forgot to say all my other things. Thank you so much for all your views, likes, um, last month, um, I want to say, uh, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, subscribing helps me. It's free, and you don't get nuisanced with anything. You know, it's so weird. I got to stop. It's so weird that I'm doing this reading. It's talked about, and you know, there's the shadow. The shadow of me there with this um health issue and the coffin and stuff and I just got to say it's kind of weird I've never had this before um, I know it's just the sun where the sh sun's shining but it's just different um, anyway um, you know when I was thinking also too of a I could smell tuna or salmon or something maybe someone has a uh, seafood uh, allergy or something and could get very sick or something by eating something um, you know without knowing that was in it or something like that I don't know anyway if you I'm available for personal readings and for life coaching to help you navigate through things um, situations in your life if you would like to get a hold of me, you can get a hold of me. You can reach me at tinkertarotreadings at gmail.com. I'm Tinker Tarot on Facebook. I'm Tinker Tarot on Skype and WhatsApp if you'd like to reach me that way. and um, But all the information is in the box below. And just follow the instructions there. I'd really appreciate that. Other than that, I'd love to hear your comments. Um, I'm here for support for anyone. And take care, Aquarius. Bye now.